Sicilian defense, open, Nadorf, opposite sky variation, 6, E57. NB3 B78. B3 B6. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d pawn for the c pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. Cx d4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance b7 b5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. B2 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to castle king side. E5 attacks the d4 knight and prepares to develop the dark squared bishop to e7. Nb3 retreats the knight to the queen side where it controls the a5, c5, and d4 squares. B7 develops the bishop and prepares to castle. B3 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the d4 square. B6 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the d5 square. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is the final book action. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. It is incorrect. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is quite good. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This pins the other side's knight to the king, rendering it immobile. It is quite good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. That leaves a pawn vulnerable to being captured. This threatens to fork pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This passes up a chance to seize a helpless pawn. That falls flat. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. That's good. There is a better way to get a knight to safety than this. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This misses a chance to seize a pawn that was in danger of seizing the initiative and winning the game. It is incorrect. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This moves away from the queen of checking. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. 
That is good. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. A powerful play. It is quite good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. A wise decision. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game.